Yo, what's up? Last time I spoke on Kimagawa and how his power was one of the most powerful in anime history. I also stated that I believe that he can solo most anime. If you want to know more about his awesome ability, all fiction and bookmaker, go look at my last video. To understand Kimagawa, you must first understand Ajimi Najimi. First of all, she's probably the oldest living anime character alive, sitting at a whopping 3 trillion years old. She is arguably the most powerful and most dangerous anime character alive. She has seen every anime and she hates Shonen Jump specifically. Side note, she has quadrillion abilities. She also changed Madoka Box to a love comedy so she wouldn't have a fan base that would award power over common sense. See, the classroom she sits in is a nexus point between the real world and all of anime. Like I said, she's seen them all. She sympathizes with Kimagawa because they both hate Shonen Protags. In fact, the whole point of Kimagawa is to prove that even a loser can be greater than the greatest shonen protags. Hence why his own original power was so broken that it could turn anyone normal, which is why she gave him all fiction as a fair trade. So when you're the ultimate underdog with a power that can erase concepts, I'm not arguing this ultimate anti-hero, just saying.